In the last video, we talked about how to print certain cards using the print directive, along with using the duplex directive to print on the back of your cards. I also told you how to use ranges to specify which cards you want to print. And now we're going to add icons or mana cost to our trading cards. So we'll make our cards have um, different kinds of costs in the upper right hand corner using the icon and icons directive. The cool thing about this is how easy it is to update your cards. So say some of your cards, they cost too much or you want to change the cost of your cards. It's very easy in Nandek to update your cards. You just come into your Excel spreadsheet and you change what letters you have associated with the icons, which I'll show you in just a second. But the first thing I do is come in here and add However many icons I want, I add a directive for each. For this demo, I entered three different icons, and I labeled them A, B, and G. So what this does is anytime in the Excel file, which I'm going to switch to, anytime I type in the letter A, it will show the icon associated with the A. Same with the B and the G. That will make more sense in just a second. but. Um, you need to tell Nandek where that image is on your computer and just as a reminder to do that here's where my images are saved I have the the A image and the B image and the G image all in this folder so I'm going to left click and I copy and, and I would paste this here and add a backslash file name dot PNG, which is the file type. And all of mine are PNGs, so in this case I would do A and then B and G for these two images. I would like to note real quick that these don't have to be the same. Like you could have named this a W or or named this all. Then you just have to name this whatever it is saved on your computer. And for this, you just want to pick a letter that you'll remember and know what it stands for. So I just made it easy on myself and named the letter, named the image the same thing as I had the letter. So it would be easy for me to remember everything. Now let's switch over to the Excel spreadsheet because now you would add a column. You can call it whatever you want. I called it mana cost. And this is where you add in the letters. So if I want the troll to cost an A and a G, I would just put that there. The next thing we want to do, now that we have our icon set up and our spreadsheet set up, is we are going to add the icons directive in the visual editor. So I'm gonna left click to open the visual editor. And what I've done already is left click to create an icons directive. And that created a big, large black box that I repositioned. And then I'm going to right click to open the parameters. I've added the key, the keys, mana cost. So what that does is it pulls, Nandek will read whatever is in the column called mana cost for your icons. Back in Nandek, I inserted that in here. And this this um, is just where your box is located. So I positioned that. And these two are very important. This width is how far apart your icons are spaced. So if I wanted them to be further apart, I could make them 15 or however many percentages that I want them to be apart. You can also make them larger with the height directive. Um, so let's say we want it to be two, they'd be really tiny, but I made them 8% of the card. Another important thing that I did, I make everything transparent, but I don't think it was necessary in this case, but it's just kind of a habit. But what is necessary is proportional. If you don't have proportional, then this height, whenever you change the height, it makes things look weird. It makes your icons look weird. So I mark them proportional. Also aligned it to the right so that they line up against the right of the box, the right side of the box, and in the center of the box 
vertically. I confirm that and then I left click to confirm here and validated built the deck and then when I go to preview the cards they are pulling from our spreadsheet so the troll is going to cost an A and a G the magician will cost a B and a G and the helper will cost an A, B and G and just to double check we have an a image, a, a G image here, a B image, and a G image, and all three, A, B, and G. So that is how you make these mana cost symbols or icons to your trading cards. Now that is the last video of this intro series and I have had a lot of fun making it for you. I hope you've had just as much fun learning from it and I look forward to seeing the card games that you come up with from this video series. If you know anyone else that could use these videos to help them make their game, please share them with them. It would mean a lot to me, and it would also hopefully mean a lot to them, because then they, they would get to learn how to use these techniques as well. And finally, on behalf of StreamlineGaming.com, I'm Calvin Keeney. If you have any questions about the videos, or if you want help on anything in particular, let me know in the comments below, and... I will try to make a new video or a new video series to cover your questions. So thanks a lot and good luck making your game.